Well, just look at this car. I mean, it's a beautiful looking car. They dominated racing in the late 60s and early 70s. When the 917 coupes were first introduced, there was two sides. There was the Piak side, which Dr. Piak did not like to have aerodynamic aids on the car. So the car was quite a handful on, on the straightaways, and the drivers were really uh, nervous to drive it. And then Porsche themselves hired John Wire, which is a golf car, to come on board. And uh, John put the necessary uh, downforce on the car uh, in relationship to the tracks they were uh, at. So it changed the whole dynamics of the car, and everybody wanted to drive the car after that. Uh, this was the Steve McQueen camera car um, at Le Mans for the movie. I remember as a, as a kid uh, going to see that movie and it was just like, oh my god, I really want to do that. The cars were beautiful. Um, you know, when you compare the 917 and cars of that era to the new generation cars, I mean, we had a lack of imagination because they're, they're pretty fragile and the tubes on these cars are the size of your finger, so if you ever got into a major crash, you were going to be in trouble. So, But there's still enough of us around that drove these cars, and, and uh, they were wonderful to drive. Well, actually, the 917 Coupe, I've had you know, a couple times uh, I was able to race it, but not during its heydays. I started racing the 917-10 in the Can-Am in 1973. And that car is basically a coupe with, with the top cut off and a 1,200 horsepower turbocharged uh, motor in the back. So it was a handful to drive. From as long as Porsche ha has evolved as a company, they were involved in racing. Some in the beginning, they just had you know 550s and, and Spiders, and, and so as as the evolution increased the cars got more powerful faster uh, there were many many wonderful cars so it started with the 917 10 then it went or the 917 coupes then the 917 10 and then uh, the three the nine uh, three three six which I won uh, Le Mans with in 1977 and then that folded over to the 962s and then uh, variations of that car and then uh, finally we ended up with the 963 and that's a real evolution of technology. It's uh, both electric and aspirated. It's the first time that the car, after we've taken possession of it, uh, that was on a racetrack so we had to be careful. The tires are you know 25 years old so we didn't want to make any mistakes and it was just wonderful to be able to run alongside uh, the newest generation of Porsche race cars, which is the 9, 963. So uh, it was cool, and, and uh, all the factory drivers were down yesterday at the photo shoot you know, on pit lane, and those guys were just oogling over the car, and, you know, asking lots of questions. What, what was it like to drive? And you know, did you worry about the danger aspect? And just a lot of good questions. But uh, there's a, a whole bunch of us that. Uh, Drove those cars in the day and, and uh, we're still walking.